of the day, statements by members. The Honourable Member for Regina Louvain. Mr. Speaker, last weekend, the only thing in Saskatoon more exciting than the Blades come from behind overtime victory against the Red Deer Rebels was the Saskatchewan NDP convention. As an automatic delegate, I was privileged to reconnect with many party stalwarts. Provincial NDP leader Ryan Miley unveiled Renew Saskatchewan, a plan to finance the upfront costs of energy installations and retrofits for homes, farms, businesses, municipalities and reserves, with the loans repaid from the energy savings over time. This initiative to create jobs and reduce emissions by tapping into Saskatchewan's tremendous potential for wind, solar and geothermal power should have us all running back to Saskatoon. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, earlier today during members' statements, the member from Regina Louvain uh, stood and was quite clearly displaying a delegate's badge from the most recent Saskatchewan NDP convention. While I understand, Mr. Speaker, that there has been traditionally a prohibition of using props in this House, I also understand that on many occasions, and myself included, uh, members come in here wearing badges or buttons or ribbons signifying support for a particular charitable organization. I also understand, Mr. Speaker, that normally the Speaker rules on such matters determining whether or not the badge or the prop in question caused disorder in the House. Now, in this particular case, I didn't see any disorder in the House, although I suspect the member might have caused some disorder within the NDP caucus. <laughs> My question to you, Mr. Speaker, is if you could clarify for all members of this House what, uh, what you consider, in your opinion, uh, an agreeable or an approachable or a, an, a, an appropriate badge or prop as used by members during statements. I thank that member for Moose Jaw Lake Centre Lanigan for raising this question. I did not notice the badge at the time. Uh, I would discourage members from wearing badges uh, that convey a message, especially when they're speaking. If they're going to rise and speak, I don't think they should have a badge on. Now, having said that, members will know that during uh, member statements, members will occasionally wear things like a hockey jersey when they're talking about the, the home team and what it's done and so forth. And that, that's acceptable, I think, to, to the House and has been a, an ongoing practice. But I would encourage members uh, to, uh, to not wear badges that carry messages that might be interpreted to be of a political or partisan nature. The Honourable Member for Regina R R Louvain is rising on the same point of order. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and I would just uh, like to apologize for my lack of caution in this case. I did not realize uh, that my delegate badge uh, from this past weekend's Saskatchewan NDP convention might be considered uh, as a prop, and I would be uh, willing to table the badge so that you can... <laughs> Well, it would appear the member is disregarding the rule against props uh, here, so I would ask him not to do that, and uh, we'll have to move along, I think. Uh, the Honourable Order, the Honourable Minister of Public Safety is rising on a point of order. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, in the interest of Saskatchewan solidarity, uh, I think you should also put under investigation that uh, provocative blue shirt being worn by the member <laughs> For, re for Moose Jaw. <laughs> uh, well, uh, as, a, as the son of my mother is a Saskatchewan, as you know, so I'll take that under advisement. 